Feeling like an animal with these cameras all in my grill. Flashing lights, flashing lights. Hey guys, it's Tasha Lenise and I am back with another video. A prompt video. We got a few new prompts. We got a few new books. And we're just going to jump straight into it. We need to pick the books for May. I didn't do too bad for April. Um, I have a few days. When is the first? I don't know when the first is. Today's the 27th. I have a couple more days. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Some things might be a repeat, so let's just see. If you guys would like to see what I'm reading for the month of May, then keep on watching. We're going to get straight into it. My sister added some TBR prompts for me to choose from, so hopefully I get them. I think I'm going to pick six and then either finish up April's TBR or freestyle. I really try to stick to my TBR, but the first one is... A book in a series. Fantastic. We're going to jump straight into Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher. Because I did finish fine print. I'm probably not going to do a reading wrap up. I did finish fine print. So we're going to carry on with the second book, which is Terms and Conditions. Um, This is Declan and Iris's story. And it says, I'm destined to become the next CEO of my family's media empire, the only problem my grandfather's inheritance caused, fulfilling his dying wish of getting married and having a heir, a heir seemed impossible until my assistant volunteered for the job. So I'm not gonna read too deep into it, but yeah, he has. This is the brother that has to get married and have a kid. So yeah, first book. Whoa, I got my one. I don't know what those are. A thriller or mystery? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I really feel like thrillers just make you want to just read. And baby, I haven't heard a bad review about this book yet. This is Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. And I'm pretty sure this is about a newlywed couple who searches for a house. They think they found it. They go visit it. Um, it belonged to a psychiatrist who vanished without a trace years ago. A winter storm traps the couple into the house. Um, and the wife finds audio transcripts from the sessions. And each session gets a little bit deeper but this is never lied by Frieda McFadden this is all of Frieda McFadden books get good reviews but this is the first book that I haven't seen a bad review for so I'm excited about that I couldn't wait to read that one so far so good Nonfiction. Why do I keep getting this? Uh, I have one, two, three, four nonfiction options. I'm not going to stop trying. I'm not going to stop trying. 5 a.m. Club. I'm not going to stop trying. Robin Schrammer. That's the third book. Fourth book. I won't be defeated by that book. A book with a number in the title. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay. So. Do I really want to do that to myself? Here's what we're going to do. We got the 5 a.m. club for this. A nonfiction. Um, what do I want to do? We're going to do successful women think differently. Nine habits to make you happier, healthier, and more resilient. So we have this. This is by Valerie Burton. Yeah, 
two non-fiction books. Let's see how that works out. Two, four, five. I want to get one of my sister's prompts. Oh, shoot. Over 300 pages. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. Nope. Okay. Let's see what we're doing here. Four hundred and five pages. We have Abby Jimenez's new book just for the summer. Um, four dates, a kiss, and a breakup. That's all it will take to find their soulmate. So start over. So basically, it's about Emma and Justin. Both of them feel like um, every person they date finds their true love once they break up. So they feel like if they date each other and then break up, they'll find their true love. So. That's what this book is about. I've heard nothing but good reviews on this one so far as well. So that is book number five. Yeah, one more, one more for the road. Please let me get one of my sisters. She had a few good ones, actually. And if not, I might just pick one of hers anyway. Uh, uh, oh, no, that's not one of my sisters. Pick a book based only on the cover. I don't want, I want one of my sisters. Um, what's interesting based on the cover? Oh, this is beautiful. A beautiful black woman. I mean, what more? What more can we say? This one. Y'all, yeah, should I do a bonus one? This is a lot. She's a woman who wants more and knows she deserve and knows she deserves it. This is the second book to Before I Let Go, which I have read. Um, and this is about Salad Salad Barnes. Yeah. She's going through something and she doesn't have time to grieve because she's too busy keeping a roof over our daughter's head and food on the table. And in the process of saving them all, Salad rediscovers herself. From the ashes of a life burned to the ground, something bold and new can rise. But when Judah Cross, brilliant single dad and absolute last man she should want but can't seem to resist, enters the picture, can she trust him? Can she trust herself? After all, she's lost and found. Is she brave enough to take a risk for what could be? But this cover is beautiful. Y'all see that? Oh my God. And I don't even like people on the cover, but she's stunning. This is a lot. Am I even gonna? <laughs> These are my picks. Just to go back through, I have Never Lie, Frida McFadden, The 5 AM Club, Robin Sherman, Successful Women Think Differently, Valerie Burton, this could be us, Kennedy Ryan, Abby Jimenez, Just for the Summer, and Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher. So, it's given insanity. Um, so, yeah. Let's see if we can make some shake this month. I'm sad I didn't get one of my sister's picks. I might throw one of these out so next time I can get it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.